If you're someone who actually pays attention to my streaming, you probably have two questions right now. The first question is, why are you streaming at 3 in the morning? The second question is, why are you loading up RetroArch? You have real hardware for your PC Engine cabuses. Yeah, that's how I pronounce my own name, by the way. I don't know if that's how I always did. I will admit, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, you know, m maybe, maybe the people pronouncing the name have influenced my, how I pronounce it, but that's how I'm pronouncing it now. But, uh, yes. Why do you have retro arc open? You don't have, have retro arc open for PC engine. You got a real ass PC engine. But there's something that I don't want to burn a CDR of yet, because I want to try it on here to make sure it works. And that's a little tweaking I did to uh, Double Dragon 2. Hey, did I get this on screen? Yeah, it's on screen. Uh... All right, so you sure might be listening. You might notice the soundtrack sounds a bit different. I actually pulled it from the uh, Arrange album because I always thought the PC Engine version soundtrack sounded a bit weird. Now I'd like someone to really check with me. Does it sound too loud? Also, what do you think of this arranged version's tracks? Do you think they're good enough, or do you think I should have went for, like, just using the NES tracks? Or the arcade version tracks? There's touch drop it is more difficult in this one. There we go. Okay, I think I got it. It seems like I can't do them if I... What? I did it backwards? I can do the knee attack backwards! What the heck? Ah, <sighs> oh, that must be some weird quirk about this version. die right away so uh let's just... oh dear that's and that's a default difficulty level oh man okay let's just let's just uh 
Let's jack up everything. Getting that uppercut's easier than a knee, I think. Yeah. try to get to the next few levels so I can show more of the music. Whatever, I'll credit feed if I have to. So one flaw I noticed in my uh, little modification right away is that on this one track, if you pay attention to the end of the track, you might hear some NES game sounds, and that is that is how it was in that Arrange album. That is how it sounded. It's kind of dumb like that. I did not want those sounds in here. It, it feels jarring. Okay, stop the jump kicks, please. Feels awkward to not have a boss track. out. And there's the real one. Oh, man. Just I didn't touch any of the cutscene audio because, you know, that is a lot of voice acting. And, you know, I can't exactly voice act. Uh, 
のヘリで逃げようってわけかそうはさせるか待ってろよI think it would be neat if I could have a fan translation or something to go along with this alternate audio. Uh, but you know, I'd probably need somebody else to do help me with that. Nice job knifing the girl, dumbass. Oh, damn, this saxophone. Oh, night. No. Oh, dang, damn it. The saxophone distracted me. <laughs> oh, these morning stars do a lot of damage in this version. <laughs> but they have poor accuracy. Oh, I got to throw in. So I think one the critical issue I have with the controls in this game is how they reverse whenever you change directions. Like, because basically your punch and kick reverse when you change directions. And I guess maybe they thought that was easier than how it worked in the arcade game, but I got used to how it worked in the NES game. You know? Oh. Oh, damn! The knife! Ow! I'm down the... I'm already going to use a continue. I suck at this game. Wombo comboed. Let's see how credit feeding works. Oh gosh. Testing? I'm testing a little music mod here, so please excuse my credit feeding. Oh, there isn't like a boss in this mission in this version? That's kind of lame. Knife! 
think about it. I've always thought one of the critical problems with trying to do a fan translation of like a game like this with all the voice acting embedded into the CD audio would be how would you dub it without removing the CD audio? I think now we have since we have like AI like audio editing, maybe we could create a clean VGM sound effects version of the track to dub over. The Zebo version? <laughs> I've never played the Zebo version. I heard it was good. Is that true? How do I get it? How do I get the Zebo version? All right, let, let's skip this. Let's see how my how this track sounds on my edit. I feel like of all the tracks in that arranged soundtrack that I used, this one is the one that kind of sounds the least like it blends in. Oh wow, I just punched the guy while he was jumping. I didn't even know I could do that. Oh, I oh, better get away from the door. No, 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 no. <laughs> you find someone in Latin America who has a Zeebo. That, that sounds like quite the task. I'm pretty certain it's easier for me to find... The, it's e it's literally easier for me to pay like two hundred dollars for an actual PC Engine version. Ow! Yikes! Oh, so you can trade hits in this one. Okay. There we go, got a knee in. Got another knee in. You just go out. Oh, no, no, no. Please open. Please open so I can cheese my enemies. I don't think it wants to open again. It doesn't open at the same rate as it does in the NES game. There's so much stuff I gotta get used to in this version. Oh, oh! Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, okay, I managed to not use the continue. What? Yikes! He just two shots me!
There we go. Got the knee in. There's three of them? Ah. Yikes! Why did they hit so hard? I don't recall anything in the in the NES Double Dragon being able to two-shot you, other than like spikes. Yikes! What kind of voice actors would you use for if you were dubbing this in English anyway? I mean, maybe Scott McNeil would still make a good Jimmy Lee in this? I wouldn't really want to use an AI-generated Scott McNeil, though. That'd feel wrong, you know what I mean? All right, so one of the one of the other quirks of this version is that uh, mission four and five, compared to the NES games, are swapped. So uh, you kind of you kind of play these in a different order, and I had to accommodate change the tracks to accommodate. So I approached the CD tracks in this basically the same way for that was it was done for the Lords of Thunder music hack, where I where I read where I edited a lot of tracks to match the time st the time stamps of the uh, original tracks for minimal you know minimal tweaks to like cue files and editing and whatnot. Of course, this led to some compromises regarding the tracks themselves. Some of them had to be edited down. Some of them actually needed to have added added loops and whatnot that weren't originally there, and they probably were sloppily edited in. Oh good, the knee works like that. Oh, I always hated this part. Okay. No! Screw you! That's why I always hated that part. If I ever made a Double Dragon game, 
I'd make sure it had absolutely no stupid platforming segments. Platforming segments do not work in a belt scroller. Billy and Jimmy Lee are not Mario and Luigi. Get off me. How are you just walking behind me like it's fucking nothing? But yeah, this track's pretty banging, too. Can I climb up? Climbing up does nothing right now. go with you, you again. What? Don't just dodge the knee, you jackass. There we go. Fake out. down. Should have done that sooner. But yeah, I went with the arranged tracks because they blended in with the uh, other with the other CD audio and this better than uh, any other Double Dragon music I could think of. They literally just cut the spikes as they land. Like, were we supposed to believe they were... We, like, why they even bothered to let us think they were actually threatened by them? Anyway. Oh yeah, th this track sounds like it came out pretty well too.
Ain't I supposed to be able to throw that somehow? Uh. going down. cheap. Yikes. Oh dang, there's actually damage you in this version. But wait, if you can't actually... <laughs> if you can't actually jump at them, then what's the answer to that guy? Yikes, that just kills you. The timer doesn't reset? Yikes.
Oh, hello, uh... Hello, two Tong Fu guys. You're kind of in a completely different level from what I remember you being in. Oh, great, now there's three of you? I see, you could just kick them off screen. Well, that was a lame way to die. Come on! I got like... I hate platforming segments in Double Dragon! Why, game? Okay, the heck with it. The heck with it. That's that's my testing for today. Like, yikes. Yikes. Okay. Anyway, it seemed like it worked. Uh, let me try it on my actual PC engine. Give me a second. I'm going to burn a disc. I'm gonna burn a disc. Yeah, hashtag real hardware. And if it works on that, then I'll like distribute this version that I made. Uh, let's see, let's start burning. All right, the disc is burning right now. You know, I wonder if one possible fix for platforming segments in Double Dragon would be, like, to have a control mode completely change when it switches to the, to the platforming segments. So, you know, you can actually do decent jumps and, you know... Maybe your collision will be a bit better, so you, you aren't literally, like, falling through platforms half the damn time.
Anyway, the CD burn is at 80%. Seems to be going a lot better than the last time I tried burning a CD while streaming at the same time. All right. How to uh, test the CD for the CD tracks? Now I'm, I'm expecting that if there's other problems, then uh, and you know. Then my PC engine will inevitably show them. Double drag in. I will call this CDDA hack for the time being. Doesn't really have a better title at the moment. Ah, oh, there's that old snap of my. PC Engine CD right there. Alright, now let's do the hardware test. to the title screen. Oh, let's just hit start. Gosh, it feels like the loading times are so much longer. So how's it sounding? It seems like it's sounding basically the same. Yep, very CD. Yeah, that that was the goal to make it sound like it, the to make it sound almost like it was intended to go there. And it's a bit rough in spots, but you know. But yeah, like. I think emulation's giving me a bad idea about how fast PC Engine can be, because I realized when I was playing it on RetroArch that sometimes it was going so fast that audio was cutting off. Like, when I'd hit start, like, you'd hear half a voice clip, and then it'd jump right to the next part, and I realized that's because the, P that's because the PC Engine emulation speeds everything up. And, I've, and, you know, it's good for most stuff, but I got too used to it. 
So now that I got like a real PC engine and it runs really slow as molasses compared to that, it's like, yeah. This is apparently, I think it defaults to the easy difficulty level, but I don't really feel the difference in the difficulty levels. seem really effective. Yes, it has a genuine lap lack of looping, just like a real CD game. I mean, that's because that mu the music I chose also came from a CD, I admit. Oh, there we go. There's my CDR. There's my typical CDR problem. There we go. There, there's the CD audio popping, like poofing, like as typical with my CDR burns. So that that's not a problem with the hack itself. That's a problem with the CDRs in my stupid thing. All right, let's get out of this. Let's just game over. I kind of wish there was a sound test function. Let's see.
Double Dragon 2 PC Engine Cheats. Oh, there's a stage skip. And a stage select and a visual mode, but that's not quite what I was asking for. But stage skip will probably help me. One, two, one, two, start. didn't do crap. Don't let me choose the mission at all. There we go. Oh, look at that delicious stage select. Uh, stage eight, I guess. Grief. God forbid I don't climb the stairs. Uh, to see the audio stopped randomly again.
it kind of works for fat audio, if I remember correctly. Oh, the voice acting's not playing correctly now. <laughs> oh, boy. What? Holy Grusted Metal, thank you for rating with 12 spectators? Oh, dear, that's like the most spectators I've had on here yet. And I've been- and all I've been doing is fiddle, tweaking and hacking a CD audio on a game. Oh, dear. Hello, Holy Grusted Metal. Uh, you know what, if you came here for, uh, whatever I'm gonna put out in a moment, I'll- uh, let me finish the test here. I was just finished test testing my little hack on real hardware. Just a CD hack, but yeah. Oh, don't worry, I've been getting my butt kicked in as well. My of the pun you mean P Mike Tyson's punch out? There we go, there we go. That sounds correct. Oh gosh. I've had burns glitch out on me. I've had burns not play the audio at certain parts, but I don't think I've had a burn crash before loading a stage like this before. Yeah, I think it just crashed. Yeah, it's crashed. Uh, let, let's try that. Let's try that again. That's CDR burns for you. That is CDR burns for you. That's not even on any part I would have hacked, either, so that's just a CDR being a CDR. That's a good thing I know to stage select codes. Let's see if that happens again if I load it a second time, like if it's consistent result. Yep, crashing and burning. Oh gosh. I think the disc... The disc clicked twice. It seemed like it wasn't going to boot up for a moment. It seemed for a moment like it wasn't going to boot up. Okay. So what was that sheet again? One, two, one, two, start. Oh, man, you're stuck on Soda Popinski. Ouch. That's rough, dude. Okay, I will give this points for consistency. It seems like this burn is just consistently not going to load level 9. 
So that's a that's an interesting that's an interesting CDR burn problem I got here. Hopefully I don't encounter an issue like that when I play you when I play more of Yuna. But yeah, I think I'm going to need more testers for this uh, little hack I did then. So I'm probably gonna upload upload my uh, the CD track edits I did to uh, Mediafire. I should probably throw something on the screen while I do this. Give me a moment. Oh wow, congrats on getting affiliate. Uh, yeah, I hope I, I'm getting pretty close to, I hope I make it. Hope I start getting, you know, the paid subs and whatnot. That'd be pretty spiffy. So, let's see. Let's make a new folder. There we go. So, the track three dot wave, track four dot wave, track five dot wave, track six dot wave, track seven dot wave, track eight dot wave, and track nine dot wave. Those are all the tracks I modified for this. I am now uploading them. Oh, you don't have subs yet? That's, that's a bummer. Probably takes some time. Yeah, most of my regulars are the same ones I had on Twitch, so it's like, you know? Oh, did I upload all the tracks that fast? Looks like it. Okay, let me, uh... Let me... All right, I guess I'll share the folder then. Uh, here we go. Copy the link. And I'll put it in the restream chat. Oh yeah, Restream Chat doesn't send messages over to Kick, so I'm gonna have to link it on Kick separately. Oh man, that's a pain in the butt. Why don't things all just work? Things never just work. That's lame. I'll link it on my Twitter as well. All right, and now to figure out how to send it over to Kick Chat. Give me a second.
But, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, that was all I really had planned. Uh, what time? Oh, gosh, it's four in the morning here. <laughs> um... Are those, are those 12 people still there? They're probably not. Like, I didn't really stream anything that would be really attention-grabbing. Hmm. You know, if there's five people, though, I could figure out how hosting works. Is there anyone else that I'd think of hosting? Hmm. Because I could do hosting. That'd be pretty cool. Hosting would probably get, get me attention from, like, other streamers and whatnot. Especially if I find some cool streamers. You know, I haven't seen Track Zero on Kick in, like, the past two weeks. That seems a bit of a pain in the butt. Hmm. Oh, well. That was a that was a successful test. Now just sign off for the time being. Thank you all for coming in.